hey guys very hearty welcome to uh, cns part three in this lecture it's a very very tiny lecture we'll be discussing only one disease and that is called syringomyelia okay so let's have a bit of syringomyelia discussion so number one it's a chronic progressive degenerating disease of the spinal cord so chronic progressive degenerative disease of the spinal cord chronic keeps on it's, it's chronic you know that means it's not an acute condition all of the time it slowly it happens chronically it's progressive in nature and there is a degeneration of the spinal cord the hallmark is a dissociative anesthesia so the hallmark is dissociative anesthesia that means there is dissociation the pain and temperature sensations they will not be coming but that means the spinothalamic tract will be affected uh, but the dorsal column it will be intact okay the dorsal column will be intact yeah and uh, the pain and temperature will be lost and usually it involves first you know the upper limbs uh, there is a cape like distribution of the loss of sensations that is pain and temperature whereas other sensations which are mediated from the uh, dorsal column you know such as uh, unconscious proprioception vibration sense fine touch as well as two point discrimination all of these will be intact that means the dorsal columns they will be doing their work all proper and fine whereas the pain and temperature that is mediated by the spinothalamic tract will be affected now after this it starts uh, usually in the central canal so this is the central canal uh, so the cavitation starts in the central canal of the spinal cord right the most common side is the cervical and later it may also involve the thoracic uh, in a descending fashion and whereas if it's in, a, in an ascending fashion then it will involve the medulla okay now what are the causes why will a person actually develop syringomyelia it can be a tumor which is starting from the spinal canal and you know uh, growing right then it can also be trauma so tumor trauma meningitis or arnold Chiari malformation then the diagnosis the best uh, the gold standard is mri the clinical features are cape like distribution where there is a loss in this cape like blue region there is a loss of pain and temperature the person will not feel any burns will not feel any pain cuts anything because of that you know what will happen there will be a lot of injury and insults happening in the upper limbs so because of that the motor component will be present that the person will have a wasting of the small muscles of the hand, wasting of the small muscles of the hand, that is the hand muscles, and uh, coming to the sensations, there will be an asymmetric loss of sensation. That means all this pain and temperature which is getting affected, it will not be built, it won't be exactly symmetrical on the two sides, you know, it will be asymmetrical, it will be asymmetrical. Right, so that was a very small lecture, and that's all about syringomyelia. So, thanks a lot for watching. Please do like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a good day.